Trump can a attract other people that the conservatives don't normally get. A lot of blacks and Hispanics will vote for Trump that normally would not vote Republican. A lot of working class people will vote for Trump. But he, has, he hasn't got some of the conservative base. So what I'm suggesting is that he names his cabinet. Dilute, you know, so that, you know, so that cabinet members that appeal to all elements of the base, like for libertarians, name Rand Paul as the Secretary of the Treasury. Um, name Sarah Palin, Secretary of Energy, and her job is to free up the energy fields, drill baby drill, you know. John Bolton, Secretary of State. Um, maybe Alan West, Secretary of um, Defence. Um, uh, Senator Sessions, Secretary of Homeland Security. So make sure that Wall, that border wall does get built, you know. So there's that he can do that, and he can re reunite the base that way. The other thing is, if you still don't want to support Mr. Trump, pick out some senators because there's several Senate races that are up for grab this election cycle, and we have to save the Senate because if the Democrats are in power, but we control the Senate, we can still blunt Hillary Clinton to some degree. If Trump is the president and he's good, he needs the Senate to support him. If he's bad, he needs the Senate to keep him under control. So really what we should be focusing on is if you can't support Trump wholeheartedly, if that's not what you wanted to do, work, pick out the Senate races that are up for grabs and get behind those, send money to those senators, volunteer for their campaigns, um, you know, become a phone banker for them, etc. We have to win the we we have to win this one, because if we don't, um, the illegal immigrants alone will make Americans minorities in their own country, and you can't you just cannot roll that back. It's not something you can just vote out of existence.